Hello, I'm Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, and yes, I don't know why I do this. I've noticed this every time I edit that I do this. So, I don't know. It's a nervous tick, I guess. <laughs> so, today is Saturday. Yeah, my office is a disaster. Camp was last week, um, or ended yesterday, and um, it was a good week. We had fun, and it's been busy, and so I have decided I am changing things up. I don't ever, I always change things. Before we moved into a small house, which, you know, we live in a yurt, so um, I'll put a link in the description box below and you can check out my farm channel. So before we moved into our yurt, I would change, I would move my house a lot. I'd move all the furniture. That was just something I like to do. I like to move my furniture. So in my studio, guess what? I've moved things again. <laughs> I'm gonna flip you around and show you what I've done. All right, when you walked into the studio, you did see my retail space right here. Well, I'm going to turn this into a community changing exhibit. So we are going to, I'm going to start exhibiting um, art from the local schools and things like that in this. And we are going to work on a community exhibition space. So that's what that is. All right, so I moved my retail. I now have a complete little retail shop room, which I really like it so much better. So I'm gonna, I've got some new things that are gonna go in down here. Um, I'm still, you know, displaying and you know, trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to merchandise everything in here. But I've put uh, these on the walls and these will change out. I'll rotate them between the crocheted um, fiber arts and the sewn pieces to the buttons. I've got to get all of these buttons put on cards. So I have this here. I've got to get more, get all the buttons put on cards and they'll go back on here. This space here is the new products, the new moth stickers, the things I showed in the last one. I have all my stickers here. I love vintage furniture. So, and I love thrifted furniture. So this piece I thrifted at our local thrift store. Um, I've got to put a couple of knobs on it. I actually use it to store my packaging supplies for online orders, it's great. This piece here, this little sofa table, um, if you watched my previous studio vlog, it was gifted. Well, they had it on uh, Marketplace. There's a local shop that was doing some changing and so this was, you know, put up for free. This Baker's Rack I've had for years. It was, um, well, I've only had it for a year or so. It was my mom's, and it was one of those pieces that I remember for a long time my mom having. And this piece here was another one that I got free from another local store, from the same local store I got the other piece from. And I love this. So I'm going to actually use this to merchandise some different things as well but it fits my card bookmark display perfectly and it makes it up makes it where instead of these being so low they're actually at a pretty good height to shop um, this corner piece was gifted from a friend i like keeping everything battered and not perfect because it's fun to me um, i may do something to this one i got some paint that i'm probably going to do and i might at least repaint the outside and maybe brighten up the inside a little bit. So I have my the handmade journals I make over here. Um, thinking about popping some of these onto my Etsy store. But yeah, I have journals that I make. And then I've got some artwork that I've done on these are just gonna be changed out. I'm gonna pop some different ones up here as well. But yeah, so, you know, cause I do a little bit of everything um, I have hand dyed wool. These are um, Rolex that I have made on my blending board. These are um, hand dyed and hand spun yarn. These are all hand spun, hand dyed, hand spun by me. So um, I've got more that I just have to skein up. But yeah, these are all dyed and made by me as well. These are little. Um, a little bit bigger than passport size, um, journal inserts that I make, journals that I've designed, 
more fiber arts pieces. So yeah, this is my new little retail space. It's full of light. It is really, really fun, so I'm excited. So I moved the, the table out of here where I was doing classes and actually put it in here for um, last week's camp. And this, you know, added it to the pop-in and paint room, which I like. It actually gives more, you know, seating space so that I can have six people in here um, painting at the same time. And today we're doing a five dollar ten dollar and fifteen dollar paint day so everything on this rack is five dollars to paint and then anything that is fifteen dollars is ten dollars and anything that is twenty is fifteen so we're running a special today so we'll see how that how people come in for that but so yeah that's sort of you know oh wow that's an interesting view you realize how big my space is when I walk around like this, but yeah, so the little space here is going to be my community art space. So we're gonna do some gallery openings and we're going to hang some kids art. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, so I hope you have enjoyed my little mini studio vlog because I didn't film myself moving that because I totally forgot it was a spur of the moment. Oh, let's go in and do this. What do I do? I don't put up a camera. <laughs> I, uh, I have a tendency of forgetting to film, even though, what do they say? Everything is content. Sometimes I get overdone with content. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm working on. Oh, forgot to cut my air fryer off. That's a good thing I walked in here. Yeah. I went to the local farmer's market that is on my square every Saturday morning and got some yummy artichoke focaccia for my lunch and actually ate some for breakfast. <laughs> so yeah, um, I will see you soon, but that's a little quick update on what I've been doing in the studio and if you ever come to Monticello, come and see me.